Hey loves, it's Time the Infamous here and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this because we are doing this beautiful old school classic Time the Infamous colorful glam and I was just inspired to get back into color and I wanted to do something like a little more blown out. I did not do any type of liner. I just kept it simple with the lashes. My skin is looking beautiful. I used some new products you guys and thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel right now turn on the notification bell so you get my notifications for uploads YouTube doesn't like notifying you guys and you guys are always complaining so just turn on the bell so without further ado my wig is from princess hair plug the link will be below with the discount and yeah you guys let's get right into it Okay, you guys, so we are going to get right into it. I literally just woke up and I never ever record when I just wake up because you know, my voice, I feel like my face is puffy, but I am so happy to be back with you guys. And I am literally just dying to create. My passion is back, my creativity is back. It's just really weird what an illness can do to your body. And I'm literally feeling like I'm back to my old self. Um, I'll give you guys more in-depth info on my update video because the changes that have been made in my body are literally miraculous. So I just wanted to get into the swing of things and just make it more personable. I just want to really start getting ready every day with you guys. So yeah, I'm going to show you literally what I do. So I'm just first going to get my wig on. I just put on my moisturizer. I literally have just brushed my teeth and washed my face. My blue wig from Princess Hair Plug. This wig I made myself and I will leave a link right here for you guys. That video has like almost 2 million views. I actually make one just exactly like this but in purple. I also need to wax my brows and my lip. I use these. I freaking love them. They come in like strips like this and these are the bigger ones. They have like little skinny strips for your brows which I would use but this is all I have so we're just gonna work with what we have so first I'm gonna take a cotton pad and you want to take like one of your toners something that's not moisturizing that has a little bit of alcohol in it because we want to get all of the oil off of our skin wipe my brows see how I have some redness right here I'm gonna go below that so I'm gonna take a little fix plus and just wipe this down. Flip this and dry my skin really good. And you literally warm them up with your hands. It gets really hot. Open up the strip. And one side is going to have the wax. Press this on my brow. Then I'm going to hold my skin. And I'm gonna pull fast. Yeah, that came out good. Ah, so there is all the hair that came off, nice and low to my lip. I hate the lip, you guys, and my lip turns really red, so beware. That came off good. I go upwards. Okay, you guys, so I am back. My eyes and my lips have kind of calmed down a little bit. I did kind of pull a little skin off. I forgot how powerful these things were. This is definitely strong enough for thick, coarse hair as well. So next, I'm just gonna move on to my gold eye masks. And these are great for puffiness and dehydrated skin as well. Kind of helps for the fallout as well. 
Okay, you guys, so we are moving on to our shadow. I have my brows on. I usually do not like this Fenty Beauty primer, but since I'm doing a colorful look and I'm gonna be using the MAC Paint Stick today, I kinda wanna see if something really dry underneath may be able to equal this out, so I'm just kind of experimenting. Kind of tested it on the back of my hand. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my paint stick. And I got this on the first day it ever launched. I stayed up and waited for it. Yeah, I swatched the purple and that was literally it because I wanted to have like the first impressions with you guys. Dun, 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 dun. Of course, I did not forget about you. I purchased two of these just for you guys. One of you lucky winners are going to win a brand new James Charles palette as well. It'll be open for one week and it is US only. Okay, I'm just gonna start by taking MAC Vanilla Pigment. Go into the Master Palette by Mario. In Hollywood, when you put it on your brow bone, perfectly your skin tone. It is so crazy. I don't know how he got it perfect. So I'm gonna take the MAC 224 blending brush and I'm gonna go into this orange color. Kind of start in this area. A little bit of this one next to it as well. Oh, and it does seem like my base is kind of wiping away. So now we're gonna go into this super cute hot pink that is obviously calling my name. And I'm just gonna start placing that on the outside. I am having some issues blending, you guys. I'm going to keep trying, but it's super patchy in here. I'm now gonna take the Fenty number 200 eyeshadow brush and pack on that pink. And I'm gonna pack on that orange. Mix of both of those colors. Ooh, whoa, these are packing on much better than they're blending. Ooh, that's super bomb. But I'm taking this really high because I kind of want my eyes to just be engulfed in color. So that is getting patchy right there. I'm gonna take this lime green with a little bit of yellow. And I'm gonna start that in this inner corner. Taking a little more yellow. Taking a little more green to kind of give it a gradient. I guess my favorite color, this blue here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this white. Kinda just swirl my brush in there. It's a little more powdery so that I can blend this crease. So I'm taking my Fenty brush and just flipping that around and I'm gonna go into this green and some yellow. And we're just gonna put that on the inner corner lid. And adding some yellow by itself to the inner corner to kind of make that pretty lime green. Now we're gonna take that blue. And I'm loving this Fenty brush, by the way. It picks up so much color, like look at that. It's like a flat brush on steroids. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of that white. Blend out this harsh line. Go into this yellow by itself with a little bit of this orange and put that on the inner corner over here. And I'm gonna get some yellow by itself just to kind of brighten that up. And like I said, I'm kind of going for a watercolor look so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. I just want it to look like my eyes have just been splashed with color. Okay, loves, so the Fenty base, I do not even know how they came out with that. 
I had to take all of my makeup off and redo it, you guys. So I am now caught back up. Can see like it's blending, it's buildable, it's flowing, it's airbrushed. Only problem I did have was with the blue. You can see it's like a little splotchy. So I'm just going to grab Clarity which is my number one Ace Boon Coon, you guys, like this. Maybe I need to do a makeup story video for you guys because this right here is the color that got it all started for me. This is the color that got me in the door at MAC, you guys. So this color is so close and dear to my heart. So I know Clarity never lets me down. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see how that's already going on. Gently off my cellar water wipes that come in the little pink. I do like the um, regular ones a little better because these kind of have a residue, kind of like a little sticky feeling. So I'm gonna go into the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm gonna go in still with my paint stick Okay, so we're starting on our inner corner. We are going to go into our orange and a little bit of yellow. That's a little too much yellow, so I'm going to take a little more orange. Yay, finally we are done with the eyes for now. So I'm gonna move on to my skin. YSL primer and I love this. It just has made my skin look absolutely just beautiful and flawless. The guy who helped me at Sephora said that Smashbox designed their primer around this formula. I was like, hmm, okay. So now I'm gonna go in with the new Tarte face shape tape or whatever it is face tape and this is in the color medium tan sand i know there is controversy surrounding this foundation because they did not have a large range for the deeper complexions i even was upset you guys i even refused to buy any tarte products then they came out with the larger range and on top of that, I cannot find a foundation that I love or like. I've been going through foundation after foundation, you guys. I don't think I've even worn this yet. It does blend very well. I wish it was like a little bit thicker so that kind of get, gives your skin like a fuller look like you know the Fenty foundation how it's very thin this is kind of reminding me of that I don't feel like I would put this on like when I'm trying to slay I should have put like um, an illuminizer underneath it so I'm gonna look really matte like let me get my NARS sheer glow in Barcelona makes it look a little more beautiful. For one, as you guys know, I hate getting foundation or makeup in my wig, so I had to push that back, girl. And two, I'm playing around with my new lighting, so I just changed the setup right now. So let me know, do you like this setting that we're in right now? or the one that we've been in leading up. Let me know what you guys think. I kind of like this one better. So we're going in with our Fenty Beauty 180. The new Pro Filter Concealer, which I love. Who else is super sad that Real Techniques changed their beauty blenders? You guys know I live for this. I have been wearing this for years and I cannot live without it. All of you guys in the comments are always saying like, yes, time, I love this. You put me onto this. And you guys know your lips be popping. Fenty Matchstick in Cocoa, which I love. I used to use Mocha, but this one is a lot warmer. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna go into my Chanel Tan Day Soleil, which you guys know I can't live without this. This is the 161S. This is what I use to kind of like sheer it out. See how that like fits perfectly? And I actually don't start there because you know, at first the brush is gonna kind of absorb this product when you first start. So I kind of just start where, you know, it doesn't matter as much, which is down here. I'm taking the Fenty powder in banana. So now we are going to powder, of course, with my MAC Studio Fix in C5. I'm really excited, you guys, because I am going to be getting Time Academy back together, but it's going to be a lot different. We're gonna be doing beauty and makeup, but we're also going to be doing like how I do my YouTube setup, lighting, mic, camera, lens, tripod, as well as some business aspects as well for social media, how to make an income off of there and things like that. My boyfriend Space and I are actually going to be doing it together. We're a great duo, you guys know. And he like knows the whole tech side of everything, marketing and advertising and creating products online and everything that has to do with that. And if you guys have any name ideas, we were thinking Space and Time Academy, but if you guys have any ideas, please leave them below. Of course, you'll get a certificate and everything. Also going to be showing you editing, tutorials, photos. We're definitely wanting to have that done by fall. I'm going to use my MAC 135 brush. I have been trying to find a bronzer that I love, you guys. Here is the Benefit Cheek Parade. But I feel like Hoola isn't dark enough, but let me give it a try. So we're gonna go into Hoola. They smell amazing. This actually is looking super duper pretty. Let's go into a little bit of dandelion. You guys, I went and picked up the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And just like that, the dry patches are gone. Yeah, I just put some of my Fenty powder right here because I have like a shadow there. I get that from my mom. I always forget, but this time I'm going to put that powder on there so that I don't have that shadow. Mom, if you're watching this, that's what you put right there. Now I'm just gonna take my YSL lipstick, number 16, Pink Celebration. I'm gonna take a little bit of my paint stick, my white one, because I just don't feel like getting up to get a lighter lipstick. And the paint sticks are multi-purpose, so. Aren't you guys just loving this tutorial? It's just like the good old days, isn't it? I am loving this, you guys. I'm just so happy those freaking toxic implants are out. I'm not dying. I'm thriving. I'm living again. I'm able to just be here with you guys and just playing makeup like what I just love doing. Have you tried Pat McGrath's um, new mascara? When the chef comes, th 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 throw some fresh ones. More talent than my motherfucking left thumb. Move, 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 move back, bugs. Okay, you guys, we are ready to finish. I just took a little break and I went over to Instagram, went over to Snapchat and I did a little Instagram live and you guys know I love Nikki and that is one of my favorite songs from her. So I am going to try the Patrick Star. Baby, it's gold outside. I have not tried this. I've been dying to try it. 
Ooh. Pretty. Truthfully, too, I should have kept it matte, but this has been just calling my name, saying, time, come try me. And a little extra shimmer never hurt anyone. This is the question of the night. Lash or no lash? Like, I feel like lash just kind of makes me look not basic, but just like everyone else. And then no lash is like, oh, high-end supermodel. It just kind of looks like I have mermaid vibes and I just kind of came out of the water. I don't know if that's just me. Guys, I went with lashes and this is F-Boy by Batty B. I just put in my earrings, which say fashionista. And uh, I mean, not fashionista, feminist, feminist. Femi it's like feminist with an A at the end. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, my necklace says feminist and I got these at Forever 21. Hey guys, that is it. I know this video is gonna be super long. I'm about to record my P.O. Box unboxing, you guys. I have a lot of cool new makeup that I am dying to open. So you guys be looking out for it. Until next time, I will see you later.